future nurses, so this is the second set of conversion factors that you're going to need to know for the math section of the HESI, and it's the metric conversions. So um, the way we learn those is King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. So that sounds like a horrible way to go, but it's an easy way to remember kilo hecto <clears throat> deca the base unit deci centi and milli um, of those ones that you really need to remember are kilo centi and milli hecto deca and deci don't really show up on the hesi but you need to include them when you're doing this um, the calculations so that you get all the right units of 10 in there as you'll see later um, base units are things that you're very familiar with, like grams, meters, and liters. And some examples of those base units with the prefixes are things like kilograms, centimeters, milliliters. So you would, um, if it gives you something like grams, then you'd be using the base. And if it gives you something like kilograms, you'd be going over to the kilo, centi, cent, centi or centimeters, something like that would be here with centi and milliliters would be here with milli. So after you write down the KHDB DCM, um, then you're going to go in and write a number in below each of those um, letters or words. So under kilo, you're going to have one, hecto, you're going to have 10, deca, 100, so on like that, base, 1,000, deci, 10,000, centi, 100,000, and milli, a million. If you've been taught this before, this probably looks different to you. If you've learned it another way and it works for you, then that's great. This um, is a way that I think makes it easier to remember how to actually use these um, conversion factors in the actual math problems that we'll be going over in the next video. Um, but for right now, what I want you to be familiar with here is how to write it out, to write it out with these numbers below it, the 110, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000, and a million. And then, um, for example, if you were converting in between kilograms and grams, you'd need to write out the um, what's equivalent. So... If you had kilograms, you'd go up to kilo and you'd see a one there. So you'd write one kilogram equals, and then you'd go to, um, if you were given grams, you know that's a base unit. So then you'd go to base and then that's a thousand. So that's one kilogram equals a thousand grams. Um, so that would be the first step in your conversion calculation. If they gave you some number of meters and told you to convert to centimeters, then you'd go up to meters as a base unit. So you do a thousand meters equals a um, hundred thousand centimeters. And then if you're given some number of grams and milligrams, then grams again is a base unit. So you'd say a thousand grams is equal to a million milligrams. So you can do that for any combination of, um, of units that you're given to convert. And it actually doesn't matter which one goes on the left and the right. Usually I will put the one that I'm given on the left and the one I'm converting into on the right, but because they're equal to each other, it actually doesn't matter or work out either way, um, whether you have the the given on the left and what you're converting into on the right or backwards from that. So just keep practicing this. Um, so this, again, the King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, or at least the KHDB DCM and the numbers under it. That's another thing. 
that you're going to want to write down on your scrap paper as soon as you start the test so that it's there for you to reference when you um, get the first um, math problem that asks you to use it. So that's it for now. And we're going to um, move on next to using these conversions in actual calculations.